When do we actually see the J&J &J shock being part of the rollout? Well, as you said, I mean, they're uh, just as like happened with uh, the Pfizer and the Moderna uh, uh, approvals. Um, they will start going out immediately, and they say, again, they will uh, be in the States uh, early as Tuesday. Um, I can tell you the states are extremely eager to get the shot. Uh, many governors have already been uh, promising uh, 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 their uh, citizens that, uh, you know, great J&J shots will be here and will, you know, be somewhat significant in terms of an uh, increase to their vaccine supply, which many have complained has been, uh, has been too small. So um, uh, uh, this is a, a very good thing for the states who have been begging for more vaccine. So, Ian, what's the difference between the Johnson & Johnson shot with the others available right now, like Moderna and Pfizer? Well, uh, uh, certainly on the, well, the word is good, but certainly on the convenience side, uh, it's a one-shot uh, dose. Uh, you don't have to go in for two uh, different shots, uh, and it's proven to be quite effective over, I think, uh, about, about, about the first two and about the first two weeks. Um, also, it doesn't have to be stored in these ultra-cold temperatures that the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine do. So it's much easier to handle, store, get out. They say it was much easier to get out to places like pharmacies and community health centers and all that that may not be uh, as equipped with other, uh, uh, you know, with, you know, like the cold storage, the requirements for the other uh, uh, vaccines. Um, on the other hand, it does have uh, uh, somewhat lesser effectiveness efficacy um, against the uh, disease in general, um, about 70 percent versus 90 something percent for for, uh, for the others. Um, uh, however, uh, when it comes to serious disease and uh, death, it's very high. And today we heard from Anthony Fauci warning against this uh, practice of wanting to shop around for the best vaccine. Take a listen to what he said. We've got to get away from that chain of thought, uh, George, for the following reason. The only way you really know the difference between vaccines is by comparing them head to head. So it's not just vaccine hesitancy we're worried about, it's also vaccine arbitrage. Uh, yes, I, and I, I, I have heard people, and you may have uh, as well, have said, "Well, you know, I don't want to get the, you know, the Astra shot, or I think the Johnson shot isn't as good as the Pfizer shot." Um, and I think what Dr. Fauci was was saying is that, look, they all have very, very high rates of efficacy, and the important thing is to build immunity um, among everybody. So. Um, uh, uh, especially, you know, when it comes to, you know, very serious disease and death, there appears to be no difference between the two of them. So uh, uh, the goal from a public health perspective is to get as many people as possible to get shots so you build up to that, I don't know if the word is still hurting, you, know, you get to a point, you know, where the virus can't circulate as much. So, uh, uh, you know, this is why he's discouraging people from doing it. And when he says, you know, the only way you can compare them is head to head is a, I, I think a kind of scientific thing, saying, you know, you're comparing uh, percentages, whereas in the real, real world, if you're taking it, the differences, I think, are quite, uh, quite small.